Hey, welcome back to the Ping Pong Flick Show. My name is Chris Wong. Yes, I am in traffic and uh, lots of things to do tonight, so I wanted to get this out. And if you're following my tweets or if you're following anybody's tweets and the news and the media, Ben Affleck is not Batman. They're like, you're going to be like, wait, didn't we already know that? He's, yes, but uh, this time he actually confirmed it himself. He went on Jimmy Kimmel last night and pretty much hung up the cape uh you know they even had a weird ceremony and stuff but uh for comedic effect and then but he said he said uh, the official statement is i guess i'm not batman uh and uh and there that's that that is that's it then he pretty much confirmed it to jimmy kimmel and to the rest of the world he's no longer batman which is very sad very sad um, I hang, hung on to a little bit of thread of hope that even though he retweeted that deadline article that there was a possibility that he would still be Batman in the modern day Batman and not Matt Reeves Batman but in this case no he's saying he's no longer Batman that is that uh, it's probably you can there's a lot of take from it um, and uh, I think a lot of it comes from when he finally said, I'm not going to direct Batman, you know, I'm going to move on from it. From it. Um, and for a lot of that, it, 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 gets, it gets interesting because it's like if he's no longer directing Batman, they're going to get another director and that director is not going to want Ben Affleck to be Batman. You know, he, he, well, he wants to have his own decisions of who he wants to be Batman. And so in that case, then Warren Brothers has no reason to go back to Ben Affleck and sign him on because would that be too confusing to have many Batmans? I mean, if the whole Jared Little's not having a Jared Little Joker anymore, then it could be true that Joaquin Phoenix could be the next Joker in some some sense of the word. Um, and that would be interesting as well. But for this case, we're only talking about Batman. We're only talking about Ben Affleck as Batman, which is the best Batman I've ever seen on screen uh, by, you know, by far. Um, and that doesn't mean that the next person that becomes Batman could be incredibly great. I, it, it, it's very possible and very, you know, there's always going to be someone better. Uh, and it's possible. But for right now, Ben Affleck is by far the best Batman I've ever seen on screen. Not the Justice League version, but, you know, when he was in Batman v Superman. Uh, and I just like that type of Batman. But, um and you know it, it's sad I, I'm really bummed out by that um, but uh, you know I was bummed out for a while after hearing news upon news that Ben Affleck was not Batman uh, and then you have little threads of things where you're like well he could be you know he could still play the modern version but, you know well that's not happening old news now so Ben Affleck not being Batman um, could, is a big thing uh, what does it say for the rest of the DCEU? Who knows? Um, it's not a huge deal breaker for the DC Extended Universe because, you know, Jason Momoa is still Aquaman, Gal Gadot is still Wonder Woman, um, and for all intents and purposes, it's possible, hopefully, that Henry Cavill is still uh, Superman. And Henry Cavill being the same Superman or same Superman, still being Superman right now is there's a lot more possibilities of him staying on Superman than Ben Affleck as Batman. Uh, I mean, uh, in this current iteration, and it, 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 when when he says that, it, now I just want to go back, not to give you any hope or anything, but it's just to in, in a conversation of maybe even the actors and actresses of the DCU don't know what Warner Brothers thinking as much as we don't know what Warner Brothers thinking because you know like Amy Adams nobody contact to her there are no reps so she's like I guess I'm out because I'm not being called on not you know there's no there's no movie for me it's quite possible because Ben Affleck says I guess I'm not Batman because nobody at Warner Brothers hasn't actually contacted saying hey we want you back for this and so and so Batman movie. They've it went completely silent. He saw that Matt Reeves Batman is coming out, so he's like, "Well, if Matt Reeves Batman coming out, they never called my agents. I guess I'm not Batman." It's all if it's like that. That's pretty damn hilarious. That 
even the actors and actresses are as clueless as to what Warner Brothers is doing as much as we are. And that is that is really a shame. Uh, and I, I, I don't, it does, I know, I, I get it that it's great for these creative directors and stuff like that for their, to make their own movie and things like that. And they are concentrating on one movie at a time. Uh, but it is, that means for people who want to see that connectivity, who want to see that uh, shared universe, we, we got to drop one. We got we got to drop either the shared universe or we got to uh, and embrace that every director gets to do all their own thing, okay? Because if every director gets to do their own thing or their own arc, um, then that means it won't connect very well because they will may not certainly want to you know have to sacrifice a part of the story so that it connects to someone else's story, you know? So if we if we have to separate that, we can't have it all. Um, and uh, like you see in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, the creatives really sacrifice a lot of what they want to do towards the end of the movie and stuff like that because they have to connect it to another movie. Uh, and that's why Kevin Feige really is hands-on. They, they even have uh, fighting directors to come in and do the action for these directors so that it looks like other of the other Marvel Cinematic Universe movies, you know? So... Um, so DC is not going to do it that way. They're going to uh, they're they're going to less likely on shared universe, more on creative uh, you know directors' creativity and have them do what they, you know what they want to do, uh, and possibly to the effect that hey, do you want a new actor and actress? Unless uh, now there's a little uh, asterisk there, unless that actor and actress is not a hot property like Jason Momoa, you know they have the freedom to change. Uh, in this case. Uh, uh, to them, uh, Ben Affleck really signed on for the Snyderverse because he, you know, eventually his uh, character gets, you know, self-sacrificed and stuff. He didn't intend to actually be Batman through the younger years and stuff, but he did get an opportunity to direct it, whatever that movie was with Deathstroke, uh, possibly part of get that could have been. Uh, between a Justice League 1 or 2 or something like that where he fights Deathstroke and stuff like that. But in this case, they didn't want to go that way. They wanted to kind of, in a way, reboot Batman uh, with Matt Reeves' Batman. And so that's why we got where we're getting uh, Ben Affleck is no longer Batman. And so, which is sad. But um, moving forward, it's going to be... It's going to be difficult for the next Batman. It's going to be difficult, uh, like any actor who is taking on a giant role, a uh, giant superhero role, it's going to be difficult for them because they're going to be uh, compared to, you know, countless, countless comparisons. Uh, and we hope that uh, it's, it's going to be good. We, we hope it's going to be a great Batman. And from the sounds of it, detective noir uh type of batman something we've only seen in the comics uh you know before it gets all too sci-fi and crazy um that could be exciting as well and uh i look forward to what that trilogy what that iteration is the question is will that batman uh be brought into the overall uh cast of the dcu like if the next justice league if another justice league movie comes out would that batman be with uh, the likes of Gal Gadot as Wonder Woman, Jason Momoa as Aquaman, uh, Henry Cavill as Superman, or are they not even concerned about bringing these actors and actresses together? Um, and more, if the director wants to do a Justice League, he can choose to bring those characters that are already uh, brought forth, uh, probably even you know utilizing the ones that in Warner Brothers' eyes deemed successful, then they'll bring them back. Uh, but we'll we'll see. Uh, it is an interesting time when you're taking that aspect of the of their thoughts that they're no longer concerned about shared universe. Any movie can come out and surprise us, and it could be totally off the wall. It could be totally something we've never seen before or never heard of. It could be, uh, you know, it, the, the sky's the limit. And is it going to be too much? Or are they going to play it real good? You know, are they going to play it how um, it, we used to have it, where Christian Bale is Batman, then all of a sudden another Batman? You know, it's like they're no longer thinking about that shared universe. I mean, I'm really uh, interested to see what kind of conversations these people are having.
behind the scenes, Walter Omada, uh, Toby Emmerich, you know, what type of conversations are they, are they going through? Um, and there's a lot of different articles talking about that, which I'll talk about in a later show um, that would, you know, try to understand this whole thing uh, about this non-shared universe, about all these different as- things that they could do by changing out casting, recasting characters like that. Um, so I, I'm re- I look, you know, it's it's interesting uh, for a lot of people. It's heartbreaking as well. I, I totally understand that, and uh, for me as well. But um, let's see what happens next. That's all I can say. Let's see what happens next, and cross your fingers that Henry Cavill uh, doesn't get. Uh, pulled to the side as well and uh and you know is no longer superman that would be a shame all right guys well that is it for today thank you so much for subscribing thank you so much for watching i'll see you next time bye